work to repair Daytona Beach's iconic pier is complete. The city pier's east end, the fishing end, has been closed due to structural damage since our recent hurricane. West Juice Claire Metz reports the project manager did a walkthrough this week and signed off on reopening as early as tomorrow, but by week's end for sure. It's a landmark in our city and we want to keep it open for people. That's been a struggle by virtue of the pier's location sitting over the ocean where tropical storms, hurricanes, nor'easters send powerful waves crashing against it. This go round, the east end of the pier has been closed for 300 days after first Ian and then Nicole pummeled the structure. Finally though, repairs are complete. And there have been 32 pilings that have been replaced and a substantial understructure has been redone. It's safe to walk on. The decking has been redone. The handrails have been redone. The cost of repairs was originally estimated at $700,000, but it's been considerably more than that, about a million and a half dollars. Leaders are hopeful that FEMA will cover the bulk of that. With the exception of just a few days, Joe's Crab Shack restaurant on the pier's west end has remained open during repairs. It was the popular fishing end where water, wind and waves took the greatest toll. In the early going, officials didn't think the repair work would take quite so long, but... Once they got in there, they found other things that needed to be repaired. Maintenance on the wooden structure is a constant. And here we are, reopening during the new hurricane season. City officials did do a feasibility study to consider building a pier that better withstands the elements. No decision on that at this point. They're just focusing on the now. It looks like it's going to be reopened by the end of the week. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.